chapter number 17. <coughs> Say praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. First Samuel chapter 17, verse 32. I'm just gonna read verse 32 right now. And David said to Saul, Let no man's heart fail because of him. Thy servant will go and fight with this Philistine. Can we say amen? Amen. Just want to use for a talk today. <coughs> Saints, put your trust in the Lord. Put your trust in the Lord. We see here a very familiar passage of scripture. We have learned, some have learned it in Sunday school. Some that was not exposed to Sunday school have heard it in the service of the Lord. We see here the children of Israel were being attacked by the Philistine. Philistine. God's people was faced with a situation and as you begin to read this story, there is something that even caught my attention. That we know that Saul was one that the people chose. He was not God's will, but he was one that the people decided that they were going to choose. But God already had a man, praise the Lord, in other words, God already had a king in the house of Jesse. And as you go back to chapter 16, you'll notice that as I was saying on Friday night, God told Samuel to go along to the house of Jesse and anoint him a king. Praise the Lord. And you know the story. Amen. Got there and he began to see the different sons coming in. And he said, surely... This is the Lord's anointed. But God said, not so, that's not the one. Because I don't look at the outward appearance. He said, I, the Lord, I judge the heart. Mm -hmm. And all seven sons of Jesse came by, and not one of them did God decide that that would be the one. All right. And as I begin to think about it, Samuel began to say, Jesse, do you have another son? One more. Praise the Lord. Yes, there is one, but um, he's outside, in other words, tending the sheep. Mm -hmm. Amen. Samuel said, go and fetch him. Yeah. Praise the Lord. And I'm not even going to sit down until he come in. Yeah. Praise the Lord. And they went and called for the young man, David. Praise the Lord and brought him in. Uh -huh. And as David came in, amen, the Lord said, Samuel, that's him. All right now. Praise the Lord. Go and take the oil, the cruise of oil that you had. Uh -huh. Amen. And pour it on his head. All right. Praise the Lord. And I want you to do it in the presence of his father. Mm -hmm. And I want you to do it in the presence of his brothers. All right. Amen. There was a purpose and a reason why God wanted all of them to be present. Mm. Amen. That they would not, amen, have no doubt in their heart who is the one that God decided to choose. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. And Samuel anointed David, praise the Lord, to be king. And if you notice, right after that, mm -hmm. the Bible said, amen, the spirit of the Lord departed from Saul. Uh-huh. Praise the Lord, and an evil spirit, praise the Lord, began to trouble Saul. My Lord. See, Lord, let me know, and this is a warning, praise the Lord, to every believer and even to us leaders. Praise the Lord, yet. Yeah. Whenever we decide, amen, to be disobedient unto the Lord, mm -hmm. amen, and unto his word and whatever he instructs 
instructors to say and what he instructs us to do. Uh -huh. Whenever we go again to praise the Lord and God get to a place, amen, that he get tired of it, uh -huh. praise the Lord, the presence of the Lord will leave us. Amen. And one of the worst feelings anybody can have on this earth, amen, is to walk and realize that the presence of the Lord uh -huh. is no longer with you. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Amen. Your, your family can depart from you. That's all right. Yeah. Friends can come and friends can go. Uh -huh. Praise the Lord. But there's one person you never want him to leave you, mm -hmm. and that's the Lord. All right. Uh -huh. Praise the Lord. So the Lord, because of Saul, disobedience. Yeah. Amen. The Lord caused an evil spirit. Yeah. And somebody would say, well, God wouldn't do that. Mm. But if you read the Bible, he did just that. Amen. Why did God do it? Because of Saul's disobedience. Praise the Lord. And God allowed an evil spirit to come and trouble Saul. That's right. Now, if you don't believe me, you can even go back in the book of Judges, chapter number 9. Uh-huh. Verse number 23. Uh-huh. Get me that real quick, Deacon. We'll come back. Uh -huh. Judges 9 and 23. I always want to be a preacher, amen, that don't just say the words, but I want to show you what I'm saying. Say Praise the Lord. I want to show it to you in the Bible. Uh -huh. Judges chapter 9, verse 23. Then God sent an evil spirit. Then God, who sent it? God sent it. Praise the Lord. Listen to me. Every spirit, you understand, whether it be evil or good, is under the control of God. Amen. Praise the Lord. You understand? Yes, Satan, amen. He's their leader. Uh -huh. Amen. But God is have the authority uh -huh. over every demonic spirit. That's right. Praise the Lord. In other words, God told Nebuchadnezzar, I rule in the kingdom of men. So God sent an evil spirit. Read on, Deacon. Between Abimelech. Between Abimelech. And the men of Shechem. Mm -hmm. And the men of Shechem dealt treacherously with Abimelech. Praise the Lord. In, in other words, because of what they did to Gideon's sons, the Lord sent an evil spirit. Yes, sir. Praise the Lord. And what the evil spirit caused among them was confusion and mistrust. Yes. Praise the Lord. Strive. So God can allow an evil spirit to come into your life, praise the Lord, and torment you yes. if you fail to obey his word. That's what God Hebrews chapter number 10, amen. Verse 38, if 
I make no mistake, the Lord said, if any man draw back, all right, amen, my soul shall have what? No pleasure in him. And every time this champion came out, he said, send me a man. Uh -huh. Praise the Lord. Present a man that me and him can fight. Praise the Lord. Is there not a man among the children of Israel? Uh -huh. Praise the Lord. Send him out. And as I begin to read this story, Lord, something gripped my heart. All right, Bishop. When Goliath would taunt the children of Israel mm -hmm. and defy the children of Israel, yeah. praise the Lord. When the men and even Saul heard what Goliath said, they all began to be, you understand, filled up with fear. Greatly afraid. I believe somebody wrote a song that said, even giants, they do fall. All right. Oh, hallelujah. When my back was against the wall and it looked like things was over, the Bible song said the Lord made a way. Oh, hallelujah. So as you begin to read the story, Goliath began to keep on taunting the children of Israel. Uh -huh. The story went on to say, let me just move on down the road. Jesse told, praise the Lord, young David. Yeah. To go on down to the battlefield. Uh huh. And I want you to see how your brethren are doing. That's right. Because the three oldest sons of Jesse, they joined Saul's army. But David was one that stayed home. Yeah. He was one that had a love to take care of his father's sheep. That's right. Praise the Lord. against the Philistine army, David began to recognize that God's chosen people were running. Yeah. They were retreating, going back instead of going forward. I know. David went on in there and David began to inquire. I'm not going to talk about all the details of it, but David began to inquire, praise the Lord, what's going on here? Uh-huh. Praise the Lord. It's because they have no faith in the God that David knew. That's right. Praise the Lord. See, your faith got to be tested. Mm, I know. When your faith has been tested, now you have gained some experience and you know what God can do for what he's not able to do. But when you come to know God, God can do all things. There is only one thing that God cannot do and will never do, and that is faith. Mm. So David went on and began to inquire, what's going on here? Yeah. They began to say, well, such and such and such. Praise the Lord. David began to assess the situation. David said, oh, what's going to be done to such and such a man that would kill this champion of the Philistine army? Uh-huh. But if I just back up a little bit, even when David got there, his brethren, was upset, praise the Lord, that David left the few sheep yeah. and came to the battlefield. But what they did not know, it was David's father that told him to go down and see about his brethren. Uh -huh. See, what the Lord showed me in that sense, it's not so much that they were mad at David for coming to the battle. What an anchor into their heart was jealousy. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. See, once David was chosen to be king, yeah. from that day forward, jealousy began to creep into the heart of his brothers. All right, now. See, when the Lord anoints someone and sets someone aside, there are times that some people do Jealous! Mm -hmm. But let me say this. Your gift will make room for you. 
already have. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. The reason why God didn't give it to you is because God don't want you to have it. That's right. Praise the Lord. Don't be jealous of your brother. Don't be jealous of your sister. I thank God today in a, you understand, in an ounce of jealousy mm. in my heart towards nobody in here because of what the Lord has blessed you with. Thank you, Lord. I can rejoice today because what the Lord has done for you. The young man David because of what God has done for him. Mm. Praise the Lord. And David began to say, wait a minute, is there not a cause? Yeah. There's a reason why I'm here. All right now. Saints of God, you are not an accident waiting somewhere to happen. Oh no. Praise the Lord. If the Lord be for us. Yes. Praise the Lord. Bishop, it ain't your 
church. Praise the Lord. And when I look up there, I see the deacon. It's not their church. No, sir. It ain't mine. When I look up there and I see the saints, it's not your church. Oh, no. And the reason why it's not our church, because we are the church. Amen. Oh, hallelujah. We are the stones, praise the Lord, that is put together to make up the building. Uh-huh. But the church belongs to the Lord. Amen. Oh, So David went on and he began to assess the situation. Yeah. I'm coming down to close up. And there was Goliath mm-hmm. taunting the children of Israel. Praise the Lord. And it happened so. Praise the Lord that Saul heard about David. Yes. He heard about the young man. Say, so I'll fight the giant. Today God wants people that's going to fight the giant. All right. Oh, hallelujah. Now let me say this. I'm talking about fighting each other. Oh, no. Praise the Lord. Because fighting each other ain't going to solve anything. Praise the Lord. Is that right? Amen. Jesus said, every kingdom divided against itself. It will fall. Is that right? Amen. Now let me say this. I've said this before. Just pray with me. I'm coming now. I said this before. See, Satan don't desire to defeat us from outside. Mm-hmm. Praise the Lord. Mm-hmm. Satan's method of defeating the church is to play goats among the sheep. The Praise the Lord. Satan's way of defeating the church is to start confusion in the church. Amen. Praise the Lord. Satan Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. There's a thing called the fifth element, if I make no mistake. What it was, you understand, it was two Spanish generals. Mm-hmm. Two Spanish people fighting against each other, the fifth column. Mm-hmm. And one of them asked one of the general, how is it that you are so confident that you can defeat those in the city? He said, I see what you got on the outside. But he said, the way I'm going to defeat, and I got confidence that I will get the victory, is because I got some folks right in the city. All right. Praise the Lord. And those that are right in the city, I am dependent on them. Yeah. Oh, hallelujah. To turn against their own people. All right. Praise the Lord. Satan will always defeat us, not And every house that is divided against itself, every church divided against itself, it shall come to naught. And Jesus said, you're either gathering with me or you're scattering with me. Uh-huh. You're either with me or you're against me. Saul heard about David, mm-hmm. said, bring David to me. And Saul began to talk to David. Said, young man, praise the Lord. What do you know about warfare? Uh-huh. He's a man of war from his youth. Yeah. Right now you're just a youth, a young man. What Saul began to do, I want to say this. Many people today are suffering from identity crisis. Mm. Praise the Lord. Some folks just don't know who they are. Mm-hmm. They're confused. Yeah. They're unsure. Yes. Praise the Lord. So what they do, they believe the opinion of what somebody else say. Mm-hmm. Praise the Lord. See, Jesus never suffered no identity crisis. No, sir. He knew who he was. Amen. When Satan told him, if thou be the son of God, command these stones to be made bread, what did Jesus say? Great. Listen, you don't have to make me down to my end. Praise the Lord. I know who I am. Yes. Praise the Lord. The church, the people of God, when we face our crisis, we must know who we are and who we serve. Amen. Oh, hallelujah. And when we know who we serve, it causes our faith to grow and we trust God to the end of our crisis. Hallelujah. Jesus did suffer from identity. 
identity crisis. He said, I know who I am. Mm -hmm. I don't need nobody to tell me who I am. Wherever the problem happened on that airplane, where one of the windows, of, I believe, blew out, is that right? Mm -hmm. The door blew out. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. Who did they went to? Mm. The they went right back to Boeing, is that right? Mm -hmm. They're the one responsible for the aircraft. That's right. They're the one that built it. Mm -hmm. So they're going right back to the ones that built it. Because they're the one have their name on it. Yeah. Praise the Lord. They're the one that have their image on it. See, what are you saying, Bishop? Whenever we face things in life, praise the Lord. Whenever folks try to tell us what we are and what we are not, uh -huh. don't take what people got to say. Go to the Bible. All right, all right now. Oh, hallelujah. And open up your Bible. Mm. I went and I defeated the, 
lion, and I defeated, praise the Lord, you understand, the bear. Uh -huh. And I took the sheep out of their mouth. Now, I, I want you to think about this, because I'm thinking about it. Mm. No man in their natural mind mm. will walk up to a beer. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Most men run from a beer. Yes, Lord. Most people run from a lion. Uh -huh. But what equipped David to let David know he knew that God was with him. Mm. And David said, if God deliver me yeah. from the lion and the bear. Praise the Lord. If God deliver me from the bear. Yes. This day. Oh, hallelujah. Goliath began to come David. But David said, that's all right. Praise the Lord. I come to you. Praise the Lord. Not in my own strength. Yes. Oh, hallelujah. David began to wind up that slingshot. David began to say, yeah, let me paraphrase. It's not by might. Mm -hmm. Oh, hallelujah. It's not by power. But it's by my spirit, said the Lord. David faced Goliath with confidence. That's what the Lord wants the people of God to do. Face your situation with confidence. Knowing that if the Lord is with us, mm. oh hallelujah, everything will be alright. be alright. Praise the Lord. No matter how the tall the giant may be. Yes. Today your giant may be a sickness. Mm -hmm. Today your giant may be, praise the Lord, money. Yes. Today your giant, praise the Lord, may be, praise the Lord, bills. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. But I heard a, a lady wrote the song, while you're trying to figure out. Yes. Uh, Jesus already don't work it out. Already. Praise already. the Lord. Jesus will. Oh, hallelujah. I'm a witness oh. that he work it out. Hallelujah. So while you're trying to figure out uh, how you're going to pay your rent. Yeah. All your money spent. Mm -hmm. uh, baby, need baby need a pair of shoes. Yeah. And you got light bill too. Telephone disconnect. Mm. Uh, and sometimes you just got to wait mm. until your next day check. Hello. Oh, hallelujah. Praise the Lord. But my God, my God. praise the Lord, shall supply oh. all of our needs. Yes. Whatever we need, saints of God, God will provide for us. David song that shot. Mm -hmm. And that song went and hit Goliath right in his forehead. And the man that taunted. The people of God, yeah. praise the Lord, found themselves on his back. And David went and took his sword and cut off Goliath's head. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. Listen to me. Nobody can come against the church of God and win. Oh, no. Praise the Lord. No matter how hard you try, mm -hmm. praise the Lord. You can't do nothing against the truth. The Bible says whatever you do, it's going to be one for the truth. That's right. Praise And today, whatever Goliath we're facing, yeah. don't fear, saints of God. Because God has not given us the spirit of fear, That's right. but of love, of power, and of a sound now. Yes, sir. It's not too late for God to turn it around. Yes. Praise the Lord. It's not too late Amen. for God to intervene. They said, Master, Master. if you have been here, my brother, would have never died. Uh -huh. But Jesus said, show me where you're laying in. Praise the Lord. Show me where you're laying in. Mm -hmm. They took Jesus to the grave site where Lazarus was. Jesus lifted up his eyes, began to bless his father and have a conversation with his father. Yeah. And the man that was dead four days. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. Jesus began to cry out, Lazarus. And the dead man, my friend, that was there four days, yeah. he came back alive all because of the words of Jesus. Yeah. Praise the Lord. Believe what Jesus said. Mm -hmm. Oh, hallelujah. Put your trust in the Lord. As the psalm said, some trust in chariot, uh -huh. some trust in horses. Yeah. But we can trust in the name of the Lord. Because yeah. the name of the Lord is a strong tower. Yeah. The righteous running 
Oh, hallelujah. And they are saying, saints of God, we got the victory. Amen. Praise the Lord. We got the victory. And as Paul said, thanks be to God. Thanks be to God. That have given us the victory. Mm -hmm. I don't know about you, but I got victory today. Amen. Praise the Lord. No matter what the devil said, I got victory. Mm. On this day. All right. Praise the Lord. I still got bills. Oh, yeah. But I still got victory. Yes. That I'm going to believe what God said yes. over what anybody got to say. Let us put our confidence and let us put our trust in the Lord. Just like David did. Oh, honey, that's what the Lord gives you. Thank you Lord. Praise the Lord. Huh? Put your trust in the Lord. Because vain is the help of man. Is that right? Amen. Oh, yeah, you can trust your pastor to a certain degree. But you don't trust him and put him in God's place. Is that right? <laughs> Praise the Lord. You understand? Put no confidence in men. None. Put your confidence where? In the Lord. Because man does fail. Is that right? Yes, Praise the Lord. But there's one man that will never fail, and that's Jesus. Huh? Jesus will never fail on saints of God. So put your trust and put your confidence in the Lord. Praise the Lord. And when you do that, Everything is going to be all right. Oh, as the songwriter said, victory, victory shall be mine. Thank you. 